वाल्मीकि रामायण इन इंग्लिश एपिसोड 21 चैप्टर 14 द सेरेमनीज आर परफॉर्म्ड विद द अप्रोप्रिएट राइट्स हैविंग रेंज्ड फार एंड वाइड ड्यूरिंग अ ईयर द हॉर्स रिटर्न्ड एंड ऑन द बैंक ऑफ द रिवर सरायु द सैक्रिफाइस ऑफ किंग दशरथा कंटिन्यू द चीफ प्रीस्ट्स अंडर ऋषियासृंगा असिस्टेड द किंग इन द ऑब्जर्वेंस ऑफ द रिचुअल्स ब्राह्मण्स लर्न्ड इन द एंशिएंट साइंस also officiated and assisted the king according to the instructions laid down in the kalpa sutra the two special portions of the sacrifice pravargya and upasda were duly observed then the brahmans worshiped the gods with joy the illustrious sage performed certain rituals and offered indra the part of the sacrifice due to him thereafter all partook of the soma juice which destroys every sin The high souled king duly undertook the third portion of the ceremony with the assistance of the holy brahmans. In the sacrifice, no oblation was omitted and none wrongly offered in the sacred fire. All that was done was correctly carried out under the supervision of the sages. During the period of sacrifice, no brahman experienced hunger or thirst. countless priests were present and each was attended by hundreds of disciples workers servants and other classes were feasted like the brahmans and monks and ascetics were provided for abundantly the aged the children and the women were served with all they cared to eat and those who attended on them were willing and pleasant by the king's command a parrel money and other gifts were freely distributed with immeasurable generosity mountains of cooked and uncooked foods were to be seen and each could have what he required to suit his needs men and women from many lands were daily entertained with food and drink from every side the king heard the exclamations how delicious is the food we are well content In the interval between the two parts of the sacrifice, eloquent and learned pundits debated metaphysical problems and vied with each other in the display of wisdom and acumen. Day by day, the sacrificial ceremonies were carried out by learned and holy priests. There were none assisting at the holy ritual who were illiterate or unacquainted with the Vedas. Each attendant of the king was inspired by exalted principles and all were highly eloquent and deeply versed in the scriptures. 18 pillars of wood were set up in the place of sacrifice, each made of a different kind of timber. Priests, skilled in the art of sacrificial rites, overlaid them with gold. Each of the 18 columns was 21 feet in height. Polished and of octangular shape, and all were firmly fixed in the earth and covered with embroidered cloths in addition they were adorned with sandalwood and flowers and looked as beautiful as the constellation of the seven sages in the sky sacrificial pits were constructed by master masons and the fire kindled by brahmans the sacrificial pit prepared for king dashratha was formed like a great eagle in gold its wings set with gems the beasts to be sacrificed to each particular deity were bound according to scriptural injunction there were birds snakes and horses and according to tradition the chief priest bound the aquatic animals such as turtles in the sacrificial pavilion 300 beasts and the horse which had roamed over the earth were assembled Queen Kaushalya joyfully paid reverence to the horse before making the sacrifice with three strokes of the sword. Prompted by righteous desire, Queen Kaushalya passed the night watching over the dead body of the horse. Then the priests caused the king's serving women and the courtesans to approach it. The twice born of subdued senses cooked the fat of the horse on the fire in the manner prescribed by the shastra. King Dashratha inhaling the odor emitted by the fat acknowledged and expiated his sins 16 assistant priests made offerings of parts of the horse into the fire in spoons fashioned of cane laksha would being used in other sacrifices at the horse sacrifice 
Three days of special rituals are observed. During the first day, the Agnistuna is performed. During the second day, the Uktha rite. During the third day, the Atiratra rite. The great sacrificial acts named Jyotishtoma, Agnistuna, Atiratas, Abhijit, Vishnajit, and Aptoryama are also observed. King Dashratha, the promoter of his dynasty, on the conclusion of the sacrifice, gave away four parts of his kingdom as dakshina to the four priests. The king distributed alms following the great example of Swayambhumno of old. The sacrifice being concluded, that great monarch gave large portions of the earth in charity to the officiating priests and finally that magnanimous sovereign bestowed the whole kingdom on the assisting priests. Then the holy Brahmans addressed that sinless monarch, saying, O Lord of men, we are not able to protect, defend and administer this vast empire, for we have dedicated ourselves to holy study. Therefore, O great king, we render back these lands to you, grant us in return some lesser gift. Be it gems, gold or coins to help us in our hermitages. Thus addressed by the learned Brahmans, the king bestowed on them a hundred million pieces of gold and four hundred million silver coins. Then the assisting priests placed all the king's gifts before the holy sages, Vasishtha and Rishyasringa and begged them to distribute them. Each one received his just share and the priests were highly pleased and well satisfied. The king gave away gold coins to those who had come to witness the sacrifice and 10 million gold coins were bestowed on other Brahmans present at that time. A needy mendicant begged for the diamond-studded bracelet worn by the king himself and it was freely bestowed on him. Beholding the Brahmans fully satisfied, King Dashratha with great gladness made obeisance to them again and again. The twice-born then bestowed their blessings on the king who was exceedingly liberal and valorous and who saluted them by prostrating himself on the earth. Thus ended the great sacrifice, the means of destroying sin and attaining heaven and scarcely to be accomplished by other monarchs. Then the king addressed Rishyasringa and said, O you of great and virtuous resolve, tell me what further must be done by me to be blessed with an A. The sage Rishyasringa replied, O king, you shalt be blessed with four sons who will perpetuate the royal line.